task 6 developing a program from scratch so here we wish to develop a program from the beginning for this purpose first we have to find out what is the problem to be solved or the problem for which we want to write or develop a program so first thing we will do is we will identify one problem let us write a program to calculate support reactions for a case of simply supported beam with a point load so the case is shown here so our aim is to calculate reactions RA and RB now in this case we know that the equations for reactions are as follows so RB is equal to W into A by S where S is the span a is this distance and W is the point load. Similarly, RA is equal to W minus RV. So, this is the problem and this is the solution for the problem. So, first step is finding manual solution for the problem. So, first we have identified the problem, then we have worked out manual solutions. Now, refer to the manual solutions. Referring to the manual solutions, find out what data is required for solving the problem. So whatever data is supplied by the user for solving the problems becomes input to the program. For example, here this has to be the data supplied by the user. And using this data, we can calculate values of RB and RA. So this becomes the input data. So value of W, A and S. Using these values we can calculate the required values of RA and RB. Where RA and RB are the required values because this program calculates support reaction. So this is the, these are the required values RA and RB. Now find out what is the required result. So we have found out that the result required is values of RA and RB. So this becomes the output of the program. So here we will calculate values of RA and RB and we will display values of RA and RB. So output needs values, sorry, the output displays values of RA and RB. Let's go back to this slide. Now note down the sequence of steps. So in this case, the program is very simple, there are only two steps. So if we note down those steps, using those steps we can develop logic or program logic. Now using this program logic we can develop a flowchart. So here we can see the flowchart. First step is start. This is beginning of the flowchart. Then the first executable step you can say is input data. So here we input values of span point load and distance of point load from left support. So values of S, W and A. Using these values we calculate values of RB and RA. So here we have calculated value of RB and here we have calculated value of RA. So first step is input. Second step is calculation of reactions. Next step is displaying values of RA and RB. So this is the flowchart which calculates reactions RA and RB from the given data. So this is the given data, this is the required output. So this way we have developed a flowchart. After we have developed flowchart, we are ready to write the program. For this purpose, we should try to find out what should be the required input output session or how the input output session should appear. So let us assume that we want the input output session to appear like this. So first this text must appear on screen. Program to calculate support reactions. Next line should display this case. 
simply supported being with a point load. Third line will again be text enter span. So this text will behave like a prompt for this input. So we should remember the underlined text indicates input. So this is what has been displayed here. So the plain text indicates output and the underlined text indicates user response that is input given by the user. So this is the input. The text which appears before input is termed as prompt. So this text prompts the user to enter value of span. So user has entered 4.5 meters of span. After this we get this text as a prompt which asks for point load. Here user enters point load. The next prompt asks for distance of point load from that support. After this user types distance of point load and then press enter. So after this the reactions are displayed like this. So this is how the program works. So we have to develop or write steps in such a fashion that we will get the input output section like this. Now let us move to next screen. So let us move to the first step. So first thing we will do is we will type the program skeleton. So program skeleton has program header and stop and end statement. So this will let us say this will be the first step. So let us move to photon ID type program header. The stop and end statement. So this is the program skeleton. The statements will be written within the skeleton. So let us move to first part of the program. After the first two lines of input output position. The first line is this program to calculate support reactions and the second line is this. This is plain text. So we can simply write statements to display these two lines. So let us write write statements. I have written two blank write statements and I will copy text from the presentation. So copy this text and paste it within quotes. Now save the program and execute. So I'll save the program as let's say reaction. And now I'll execute the program. We can see that the program has displayed two text lines. Now close and move to the next task. So 
so we have completed this task so let us move to next task now next two lines of output input output sessions are like this so first line displays text and then user enters data so here we have to write a write statement and for this input we will have to use a read statement so the write statement will appear like this write enter span enter, meters so whatever is to be written here will be enclosed or whatever is to be displayed here will be enclosed within single quotes and that part will be the data item that write statement is going to display so this is the write statement now for inputting data we have to write a read statement like this read star comma star s where s is the span then we need to add these two statements this write statement and read statement to the program like this so let's copy these lines from here and paste it now we'll save and execute the program so if we do that then program should display this line this line this line and then it should accept value of s so let's execute the program Now we can see a blinking cursor. This means that the program is waiting for data. I can type span, so this can be any value. It can be for around 5 meters, 3 meters, 2 meters, anything. The program has done nothing because there is no statement after read statement. Now we can add statements for the rest of the input. So till now we have entered statements or we have written statements for displaying text, displaying a prompt and reading value of S. Now we can add remaining statements. So there are two prompts and two read statements. Let us copy statements from here. Remember that the statement must be written to the right of column 6. So here the program will read value of S, here it will read value of W, and here it will read value of So here, or up to this point, the input part will read values of W, S and A. So we can save the program and we can execute the program. So we can enter span, this is span is entered as 7.9 meters. Point load intensity is 45 kilonewtons, and distance of the point load from left support will be let's say 3.45 meters. So this is where the program accepts data. Next part will be calculation of reactions. So here we need to calculate reactions. So we are now required to display reactions. But before that, we'll have to calculate the reactions. We know what are the equations. Now, using those equations, we'll write assignment statements for calculating reactions. We can simply copy the statements from here. So, this statement displays the prompt. 
displays this string. So we have to calculate reactions first. So we have to copy these steps. Calculation of RB, then calculation of RA. So we copy this. Steps for calculating reactions. So after we calculate reactions, we can display these reactions. So let us copy the required part. Now save and execute. So let us consider a case of 5 meters span simply supported beam with a point load at mid span. Let's say point load will be 20 km in manage load. So span will be 5 meters. Intensity of point load would be 20 kN. And distance of point load from support will be 2.5 meters. Now we can see that this is a case of a point load at mid span. So reaction should be equal to half the load. So each reaction must be equal to 10 kN because the point load is 20 kN. You can see that the reactions are 10 kN, 10 kN. I can terminate the program. I can execute the program again for different data. Span is let's say 7 meters, point load intensity is 120 kN, and distance of point load will be 2.1 meters. So these are the reactions 84 kN and 36 kN. So this is the end of task 6.